Seriously. Whoa! Whoa! Hold the fuck up! Do you see that health bracket? See some health? What the fuck? And now we continue. Hey everyone, hey this is Dan here and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 3! In the last part we went to the old mansion, hmm. trying to find out more about rocks and the computer thingy wingy. Yeah, that's that's a bust. That's um yeah, we still gotta work on that. We still gotta work on the whole um Getting Roxas and the whole Twilight Town data thing. It's, it's, uh, it's a work in progress. Oh, we also met Ratatouille. So now we gotta go back into town for some unknown reason. So don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell bouncing on the side to stay notified. <laughs> Let's go meet Ratatouille again. So, you think you can bring Roxas back? I do. Mm -hmm. I really do. <gasps> oh. Handsome. Samness. Roxas should never have existed in the first place. What you seek is impossible. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? Well, Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So... I'm just gonna put him back there. Do you even realize what you are saying? The other Twilight Town is just Data. A heart can live anywhere, even inside Data. There are hearts all around us. Hmm. Handsome and Xemnas used to be part of the same person, right? But look, now they exist separately just fine. <sighs> if they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, yeah! Yeah, you tell them, Captain Goofy! <laughs> In that case, by all means, nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. You wish? He'll never answer to you again! Still so blind. A nobody is what's left behind when one gives his heart to darkness. There is only one way to bring Roxas back, which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> what? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. Now, set your heart free. Wait! Sora! It's not darkness. Not if it helps him. Nope, it's still darkness. <laughs> it's still darkness. That's so cool. It's an exemptus. Wow. The color is so cool. And spot the thunder. It's over. And what the? Spot the thunder. I think I want these heart. I think these called. I think they're called the Alpha Heartless. I believe. I'm not sure exactly what these type of Heartless are called. I know that the the nobody is called nobodies, but like I forgot what. I think Heartless have specific names. I totally forgot. And for that, yes, Thunder Pegasus. Oh look at that. Ah, oh, nice ass, Pegasus. Nice ass. Doosh, 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 doosh. Yes, all the Thunders. Take all the Thunders. Oh yes. And Doofy Rocket! Down you go! Woo! Oh, he took the full force of that! Oh, yes, matching defense and grace! Good job, though! One more, more left? Oh, one more left? Oh, one more nobody left! Hang on! Oh! I learned Blizzard and my death HP increased! Oh, hell to the fucking yes! We're, we're kicking ass! We are kicking ass! Still waiting for San Fran Tokyo, but okay! Ah. Mm -hmm. 
Herc said... He said, with all my heart. Okay, then all my heart it is. I'm getting Roxas out. Are you with me? Donald? Goofy? Huh? You bet you! I don't know what Ansem and Xemnas want, but I think we better tell the others to watch out. Okay then, let's head back to town. Yeah, I want Trouble World World! Oh, no, I, just, I realized, I forgot. I almost forgot, I just unlocked a new ability. So let's put Blizzard at there. Just case, just case. So that, I think the left one got a lot of thunder. Uh, okay, I guess I'm gonna take you out too then. Yeah. And there she is, a Sparta! I love this shield. I really just feel something at that ass. I love this shield! Ah! Oh, wait, I do have the. I do have aerial recovery. Huh? What? What did I have I thought I had it! I guess good. I actually did actually have aerial recovery, but like, I was so confused. Because, like, wait, why the fuck do I not have aerial recovery? Yes! Awesome! Oh, that's it. Wait, oh, there's more heartless? Okay, fuck! I'm about to say, like, where the fuck were they? Oh, that's it. Oh. Let's go, everybody! Flash run! Oh my gosh, I don't know what the fuck happened there. Ah! I can't do it now, this is weird. I can do it before, but I just couldn't do it now, that's weird. Let's get back to, let's get back to the town. Let's get back, let's get back to the town, let's... Alright, so... Where is the freaking... Where is the spin? Oh fuck yes. And I can't do. I still can't do block. I still can't do block. That's that's a problem. That's um that's a problem with there. That's um. Uh, I bet you there's a lucky emblem here. Yeah, I'll do all that off cam. I'll like do all like the like the, the lucky emblems and like finding all like the treasure stickers. I do all that off cam. That's just that's just tedious shit. That's just tedious shit. Ha, yeah. Uh, 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 I just, I just be on my way. I just, uh, just be on my way. I'll do all this later. This, all this is grinding. I'll grind later. Now we're going back into town to meet up with Hayner and Pants. Even though I have no idea where they are, probably. Oh, cutscene. There is a cutscene. Well, bless Whoa. my bagpipes. It was you laddies who rescued my mm -hmm. chef. I can't go strong. Huh? Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right. But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler. Cool. <laughs> How are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora. You're looking hale and hearty. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why would you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge, what's that you were saying about a chef? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for you. Hmm. 
What is it? Wow! Cake! Huh? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce Little Chef? Oh, oh it's you! Uncle Scrooge, you open the bistro and try on town! Aye! It all started a little while ago, when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh, I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients, especially anything unusual. That'll be fun. Kind of like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. <laughs> that tart sure did look scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. Oh, the best all the ingredients are for. Wait, I, I have some. I already... What? I already have like a shit ton of ingredients from like a witch is called from like Olympus. Can I like not get those? Yeah. Let's like use those. Okay, I got landed. Is that it? That, okay, I don't know if you guys can hear me well because my cat is like on my back. I don't know why my cat. I don't know why my cat does. I don't know why my cat does. Let me know in the comments if you feel the cat that does this to you. Like you're just like. We better keep an eye out. What? Oh. Okay. He, he just like this thing there, and he just like, jump on your back, you and he just like little chef still needs our help. He, he just like yes. he just, like sit on your back, just like sit there. And it's like you you're just there, like okay, are you gonna like are you gonna like are you, are you gonna move? He's like nah, I'm just gonna sit here. I'm just gonna sit here on your back. He's gonna be mad, cause look like you're slouched. You don't want to move because like he's like he's just there, like slouched on your back. He's like yes. okay, are you done? <laughs> Can you uh? Can I get up, please? Ew, ew, why would butter be there? Ew. Why the hell would butter be there? Okay, oh, yeah, that's gross. That's gross. I, I do not want this food. I really don't. Like, can I not have this food at all? I'm perfectly okay with my having the food. I'm perfectly okay. I already have like a shit. I already have like cake or chocolate. Imagine the yummy stuff little chef will whip up with this. Yeah. I'm scared. I'm frightened. I'm actually kind of frightened of what stuff he's gonna make with this. I think that I need like three more. We can't leave. Little Chef still needs our help. I know. It's, it's hard to find ingredients. Let's go to a store. Is like not like a food store here? Oof. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry, I didn't mean to accidentally almost yeah. kill you. Is like not a food store here? Do I, like, yeah. is this how people get food? Do people just come in here and just like, okay, I need food. Let me go around <laughs> knocking the shit out of trash cans and get food that way. Hope we find some ingredients around here. Right, like that's like. Like, I'm pretty, sure that, I'm pretty sure that person, I'm pretty sure that's their ingredient. Like, I don't know why the fuck we steal ingredients, but okay, this is like, not okay business. We gotta steal ingredients. Uh, oh. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, one more, I see it. I see it. Huh? What? Like, that's the freaking classic kingdom you play on your phone to unlock the fucking kingdom key. The lock the, the exclusive key, uh, keyblade. Hey! Guys! Oh? Painter! Olette! Uh, hey, boss. Uh, Done with the posters. Uh -huh. Hey! Good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the Bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? Huh? Oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. There, 
You've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You can have this again, Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment, and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry, and eager to spend their money. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge! Gorsh, he sure is canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh, yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> oh, oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of him for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. It's our job! But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Mm -hmm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes, just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case, We'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. Giant Land? Oh, that's the game! Yeah, that's the, um... That's the game from Cross the Kingdom, yeah! That's one of the ones that I had to beat, which I am never, ever, 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 ever fucking doing it again, because that shit was just so tedious. Double arrow guns? Oh... Fuck. Oh, fuck yes. Hold up. What? Oh. Mm. Laura's trench, but where's my magic? You know what? Yeah. You know, I'm not even that much of a magic person in Kale Hearts. I'm not really that big on magic, really. Alright, so I guess that's... That's it, I guess? I guess we... Is that it? Here's the world map? Um... Explore the world. I... Okay, I guess... That's it for this world, I guess? Yeah? I, I, I wanna say yeah? Cause I think we did all that we did here, really. I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. Did Master Yensa tell you? I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. That's right. No more waiting for you to come back from your adventures. I want to get out there and do my part to help. Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. He's an amazing wizard. Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told him it's fine, but he won't stop apologizing. I'll admit I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. 
all he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Every now and then, I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's wrong, he says, I'm not sure. I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before, and some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. It won't be easy, but I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Lee. What? I am. <laughs> A letter? Yep. To Sora? Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah, but it's okay. I just like talking to Sora, even if it's on paper. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm? Here. Ice cream? Really? Yeah, I asked Merlin to pick these up. You know, we did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. You're sweet, Lee. <laughs> nah. What? No, uh, nothing. I just... You're trying to remember what you forgot? Well, I, uh... Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Of course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? Mm. Oh. 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 Huh? Are you okay? Lee? Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh, something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, but stop apologizing. Fine. On one condition. What? Call me Axel from now on. Got it memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel. So this is the place. Where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, 
the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square, a man calling himself Xehanort. Ansem the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own, hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization, the real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam? When Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No way! That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yup. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay. But Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's cause Master Xehanort's collecting vessels! He claimed to have two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yup! And Merlin too! Yeah. Hey, Sora, I got a tip for you. level that we need to be? Level 12 and level 14, huh? So you know what? We're gonna do this in the next part, guys. When we come back, we're gonna be going over to the toy box. Oh, I'm so going over to the toy box. That's ah, so fucking cool. What are these waypoint things are? Oh, I guess I, have, I, can't, I guess I can't make them up yet. Yes, I guess I, I guess we can't make them up yet. Okay, so when we come back, We'll be going over to the toy box. Oh, fuck the Toy Story Lands. It'd be something cool! And then the Kingdom of Cornea! Oh, fuck yeah! Thank you all for watching! Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the cool bell if you guys decide to stay notified. Okay? Oh, wait, can I go? Can I go here to like Olympus and all that? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, just go here. Alright. That's cool. Alright, peace out, everyone. May your heart be your guiding key. Bye bye!